Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back for more Pokemon Solo Randomizer Nuzlocke with your boy! Oh shit. <laughs> I feel goofy. Um, <laughs> with your boy, Oshikurosu. Guys, I know last episode was super long, so I actually kind of just like did a couple things off camera just to kind of speed things up. So I, I changed out Snuggles with um, with Rerun, and I did, a re I did that for a reason. I also have a question of the day, so let's start a question of the day, guys. Question of the day today. What is your favorite tactic when uh, battling Pokemon in your in your experience? You know, like uh, for me, I like to uh, I like to sleep them, put them to sleep, and and knock them out. I mean, sleep powder and just go to ha go ham with our Haunter Dream Eater was a really powerful combination for that. But like, you know, what kind of what kind of person are you? I've seen a really interesting technique where um, where someone had a Grimer and they just they minimized a bunch of times and they also use like um, some kind of smoke screen attack to drop evasion. Literally took out a Pokemon twice their level. It was insane. Because um, their evasion was just ridiculous. It couldn't hit. So um, what is what is your favorite tactic? That's mine. Um, so we're going to do our team recap. Now we switched Snuggles out with re, uh, reruns. So first, and we're gonna I'm going to do some grinding right after the recap. Actually, maybe I'll do the, maybe I'll do the grinding first. And uh, then we'll do the recap because it may as well catch up on Snuggles' stats at that point in time. And uh... oh, and you guys also told me I have a Route 16 encounter again. Uh, it was brought up in Route uh, because we met a Dragonair there. So let's maybe run up to Route 16 and um, and do that encounter real quick. Okay, so we are back to Route 16. Let's see what our encounter happens to be. I don't even know if I'm interested in it. What the hell is that thing? Relican. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I like it. Uh, we're gonna switch up and we're gonna get out Clamps. And Clamps will fall swipe. Mishara will put him to sleep and life will be good. Um, and we'll, we'll catch him on the team here. So it looks like, it just looks like a giant fish with like a skull head. It looks pretty sweet. I don't know if it's like a rock type or what. Um, I mean, it must have rock in it for sure. Okay, we're going to fall swipe a couple times here. It's going to take a few. Hopefully we get lucky with like a critical. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're just going to speed this shit up. Okay, there we go. Uh, water gun again is not really effective. Well, it, it's... Uh, I mean, Clams is just tanking like a boss. Okay, Mishara, put him to sleep and we'll catch him up. So yeah, um, we're gonna grind up. We're gonna grind up Snuggles first, and then if anything crazy happens, you know I'll keep you guys in touch. Um, but then we'll do our team recap, and then we're gonna start. So we're gonna do Safari Zone today, guys. And then I don't know where else we're gonna go. I heard we get Surf from Safari Zone, so I don't know if that means we go down to the island or what. First, I, I don't know where we go. The Seafoam, the Seafoam Islands, I think it is. Anyways, he's sleeping. Let's uh, catch him with our Great Ball. Or should I just try the regular Pokeball? Do we, see, do we still have any? Or do we use them all? I still have five. Let's pop them. Let's pop them. We may as well get rid of them now. Right? Two. Yo, who needs Great Balls anyways? <laughs> we got Pokeballs, y'all. Um, Relicanth's data was added to... Yeah, let me find a name here. And then... Um, I will come back and we'll do a summary on him. We'll just do the, su the whole summary all at once. Okay, actually, I have a really good name for this. It was a first time commenter coming through, long time supporter, first time commenter. Username is Master Snake. Now, can we fit it in? I think just to make it fit, I'm gonna go Master and take out the E. I hate typing like that, but that's okay. I mean, it gets the point across. So it's Master Snake 14 is the username. So big props to Master Snake for uh, coming out of their quiet shell and popping in to the chat. And uh, yeah, we'll be back when uh, we get still red level up to like, you know, 30-ish or so. It'll take a minute. Oh, well, I'm glad we got, I'm glad we got the one we got and not this one. <laughs> okay, so during my grinding session, I actually happened to walk into one of the, one of the trainers down here. It's kind of nice anyways. Oh. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. We, he's a fighting steel type Pokemon, so, um, he's a, or he's a steel, he's definitely a steel type Pokemon, so we can try the double kick, 
because we also gave the beard the black belt because we weren't using a rerun anymore. I thought he was a steel type. Maybe he's got something that that denies fighting. So maybe we'll try Ember and we'll see how that works. Um, anyways, so after this fight, I guess I'll do the recap and we'll kind of see where we're at. I would like to take I would I would like to take um, Snuggles up a couple more levels. They're still a little bit under leveled. I think I, I'm not sure. I, I kind of want to go to like that 30 mark where the rest of the guys are. Uh, we're going with Cloisters, so let's uh, switch in for Mishara. Okay, so now I don't know if Cloister has psychic attacks. I always get confused because they use like an uh, like an Aurora Ray or something like that. It's like an ice move, but it always confuses me with uh, like a psychic kind of attack. So, anyways, Mishara is still stopping face, still stopping face. Um, He's about to use a Cacnea. Let's switch in um, for Snuggles, and we'll just we'll just swap train back out. Um, what is a Cacnea? Oh, it's a cactus. Okay, yeah, we'll swap out uh, just to be safe. We got Beard in again. He's really close to that 36. I think he evolves at 36. I'm really excited to see that. Um, use the pin missile. Okay. Uh, well, it's grass, so we can fly anyways, right? Um, yeah, so we'll do the we'll do the recap after this. I'll probably bring him up to 30, and uh, I'll go from the super effective, crush his face, and one more fight after this is a Puccina. Again, we're going to bring in Snuggles and swap train back out, um, just because I don't want to waste a potion. I'm chintzy like that. Yeah, let's uh, let's just swap out. Just let's just be safe. I don't want to. I don't want to lose this Pokemon. Not after just like the la the last half hour of grinding. <laughs> Not very effective, is it? Huh. Unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna kick you in the face. Bye. Oh, bye. Recognize he uses a dark attack, right? He's a he's a darker colored Pokemon, so maybe he used uh, you know. Darn! Gosh, golly gee, Willikers. Okay, let's hit up the Pokemon Center, and then we'll just we'll do our recap real quick, and then um, I might do like a little bit more grinding on on Snuggles. So, the reason I took rerun out of the fight, out of the out of the fray, and got Snuggles in there is because. Our team needs some diversity, and you guys heard me kind of mention it the other episode. They're like, "Geez, we have like a lot of fighting. We have we had two fighting type Pokemon, the Beard and and Rerun, right? Um, and we also have two Dragon Flying type Pokemon. Now, the only reason I'm keeping the two Dragons on the team is because they're fucking Dragons, okay? They're fucking Dragons. Let's just not forget about that. They're Dragons, okay? They're big. They're gonna be powerful. They're gonna be strong as heck, and um." One of them is a pseudo legendary already. I, I think Dragon Knight was a pseudo legendary for for series one for Gen one, and Salamence is a pseudo legendary for Gen three. I mean, it's pretty. We have they're they're strong, so that's why we kept them on. So we dropped out rerun. We got in Snuggles. So that's the reason I wanted to get something that was off base of our team. So we got an Ice type Pokemon. So that gives us some Grass, some Steel. You know, we got Fire Fight. We got Grass. Um, with uh, Mishara, we have uh, Cody with Dragon Flying and Mike with Dragon Flying, and we have Snuggles with Ice and, uh, or sorry, did I say Grass and Steel? I meant Bug and Steel. So we have a little bit more diversity in case we need to attack a foe um, or need to avoid some damage incoming. So we're going to start with Snuggles at level 24. Uh, we met Snuggles forever ago. We gave Snuggles the Never Melt Ice to improve their um, their ice attacks. Um, has cute charm, so when, when they get hit, sometimes they charm the enemy, and sometimes the enemy decides not to attack. It's like a form of paralysis, I guess. Um, so far, stat sheet is really unimpressive. Super unimpressive. Super, super, super unimpressive. This Pokemon does evolve, though, and probably we'll see a leap in that at that point in time. Icy Wind was uh, is, is one of the newer abilities I just learned. It's a 55 attack power. With the stab, we're looking close to almost 80 attack power out of that. We have Headbutt, Bite, and Powder Snow is just a lower form of that with a little bit more accuracy. And it can, it can actually freeze the enemy, which is pretty good. However, I'm not going to use that on the hope that we freeze the enemy. 
You know what I'm saying? Next up, we have Cody, who is our dragon fly. He's our straight up dragon right now. When he evolves, he will be dragon flying, level 34. Um, again, stat sheets on these unevolved Pokemon are looking kind of low. However, Cody is a fucking beast. He's got Dragon Rage, which is still pulling weight, uh, especially against Pokemon that have very high defense or, or very stocky bodies. Um, he's also got Twister, and he's wearing the Dragon Faint to make that Twister come, you know, work a little bit more overtime. And he's also Rocking Slam, which is an 80 attack power damage, which is his his strongest attack to date. However, the accuracy is a little bit lacking and, and leaves something to be desired. Mishara is our Grass Poison type Victory Bell. We need to get a Poison attack on this Pokemon. Um, for ground type Pokemon coming up. Um, oh no, wait. Was that right? Poison versus ground? Anyways, uh, we got, I got, we don't have an item for Mishara, so I gave her bright power. I gave, um, I gave Mishara bright power. Um, bright powder, which reduces enemy accuracy. Pretty high attack. Uh, flash fire makes, makes, makes Mishara completely immune against all fire attacks, which is one of their weaknesses, which is really good for us. Uh, Razor Leaf Sleep Powder and Vine Whip, so we'd probably honestly get rid of Sweet Scent for a poison attack move. Um, next up we have our Combuskin, uh, the Beard, which I hope levels up very soon, which evolves very, very soon. Gave him the Black Belt because uh, the, fight, the fight attribute, and he has that double kick. Uh, hoping to see some more fighting attacks come through, though, because they are really powerful. Um, again, stat sheet, unevolved Pokemon, not super impressive, high attack, high special attack. It's good for us that he gets a really good um, offensive traits because we don't have a lot of special attack players on our team except for like Mishara. Um, so he's got thick fat, which is kind of like lame as heat and cold protection. I just mean, think it means he doesn't burn or, or freeze, uh, but does have our flying TM and uh, got that double kick going on. And fly is like super powerful actually, 70 attack. And, um, ooh, hmm, okay, hmm. I can't stop yawning today, guys, I'm sorry. Um, I've been waking, I've been, anyways, it's kicking my butt. Um, so double kick is, again, that's kind of like low attack, but it attacks twice. So, um, and quick attack is something, probably an ability we would drop. You know, okay, so we have OG clamps, which is uh, basically the powerhouse of the whole team. We're looking at 121 attack power, which is, if you're keeping in mind, that's like four times or three times the stat of our our Snuggles. I'm, again, he's almost twice the level, so. Um, that Damp has been pulling amazing, so I hope in our next Nuzlocke we get a Pokemon with Damp on him. Metal Claw, False Swipe, Mega Horn, and Swords Dance. So just like some super powerful setup here. Uh, and I only keep False Swipe for catching Pokemon because it's really useful. And uh, Swords Dance is going to pull weight later as well. It's going to raise our attack, and we're going to go into battle with a Mango Horn, pop a Swords Dance, and then Mango Horn, and we're going to wipe out a whole trainer back to back to back. It's not going to matter whether it's super effective or not. This Pokemon is a fucking monster. Uh, super glad we've seen him as our starter. And then, of course, we have our our original pseudo legendary on the team, Salamence. He's our Dragon Flying. He wears Lax Incense, which I was wrong about, first of all. I thought that the draw I thought that the lax incense increased our evasion, and I said it like a hundred times, and then finally Jeff came through and corrected me. He says, "No, no, 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 dude, it reduces the enemy's evasion." So, um, so that's uh, that goes to say I was completely wrong, and maybe we should maybe we should give him a different item uh, because, like, we have another dragon thing, don't we? I do. We give him the dragon thing. Yes. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, he doesn't even know any dragon moves yet, which is crazy to me, but anyways. Um, headbutt, bite, wing attack, and protect. Now, he's got a really high attack as well. It's not quite up there with clamps, but it's still pretty dang good. And uh, he's got that sand veil, so unfortunately we don't have Runjin in our team anymore. So the sand veil ability is kind of a bummer. Uh, oh, and then we also caught, we also caught, what Pokemon did we catch? Uh, bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's right. We caught Master Stake, the Relicamp. There we go. Summary on, on Relicamp. Not holding an item, unfortunately. He is a Water Rock type Pokemon. That's interesting to me. That's interesting because 
that would be another really good addition for our team. Um, has huge power, which raises attack. Unfortunately, he does have a very, very basic... Well, I don't know, actually. For level 18, that's pretty dang good. Um, that's pretty good. But his defense chain is just through the freaking roof. Through the roof. Um, he's got Tackle, Harden, Water Gun, and Rock Tomb. So, I mean, if his... It's, his attack is his next highest power, ability, a uh, stat. Uh, I don't know. I'm really interested in this Pokemon, though. I'm really interested in that. We're going to keep him in there for now, but uh, we may actually see him take a team, uh, a spot on the team. I don't know who we would swap out, but... Um, I mean, I have an idea. I have an idea, but um, we'll see. We'll just see how everything goes anyways. So, I am off to do just like a little bit more grinding on Snuggles, and then uh, we will hit Safari Zone and see how that goes. And uh, maybe we'll just do all these trainer fights first. What I Do I like your bird call? No, I don't really like bird calls. As unimpressive as they are, um, since today hit Monchan. Yo, okay. It's going to show us everything wrong with us swapping out our, uh, our hit Monchan. Okay, who can we go in with? Who's strong? Definitely not clams. So we don't have a, a strong against fire or fighting type Pokemon, I don't think. Oh shit, this is also a bad idea because isn't he strong against psychic? Woo! Okay, speaking of that, speaking of question of the day, what's your favorite tactic? It's right there, baby. It's right there. We, we're just gonna hit him up and he's gonna go down fast. Um, Let's just take him out. Shoo. Critical hit? Okay, not what I'm looking for. Not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, we're actually going to switch in. I, I, I feel it's better to bring Mike out because flying is is resistant against fighting for sure. And he actually has... Damn, look at this guy. He just knows all the weaknesses. That is really powerful too. Our Hitmonchan never... Never did anything like that. Um, okay, so fighting is strong against dark. You want to go... I mean, whatever, what's the headbutt? He doesn't have a large hit point pool. He's a... He's kind of like a, a... He's more of a, an offensive Pokemon instead of a tanky Pokemon. I had to bug you. Yes, you did. You just had to bug me. Okay, then we'll see what's going on with this guy. I always check every grassy area for new Pokemon. I check all areas for new Pokemon. Okay, about to set an Oddish. Okay, um, can we get away with like trying to fight this thing a little bit? Ah, miss. Oh, here we go. We get poison. We're close to a we're close to a Pokemon Center, so we'll get out of here. We'll switch this Pokemon because that poison is seven points of damage every turn. We'll just get Beardo, do Ember, and uh, and go in and take him out. Knock him out the box. Used acid on us. Oh, I guess we can fly as well. Fly would be more effective. Dun, dun, dun. And I would have missed the stun spore. So that's cool. Whatever. Um, I guess we're going to go quick attack. Just to get in the first hit and, and wipe him out. Okay, 240, 240. He's about to use a Matang. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's Metagross is like pre-evolution. Okay, that's that's interesting. Never seen that Pokemon before. Okay, not very effective, thankfully. Here it is paralyzed. Here we go. Use confusion. Ouch. No, I didn't know. Oh my god. Oh, super effective. Oh, from the fight trait. Okay, well we can we can take another hit of that. It's not it's not ridiculously powerful. Yeah, I'm like, no, not against bird, right? Mm. Okay, we're getting a little low now to be tanking that, that psychic attack. Okay, well, we're good anyways. Um, so we'll run back to Pokemon Center and get, uh, I don't think we'll, I don't think we're in danger. 36, baby! Let's see, let's see, is it happening? Is it happening? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby.
Yes, it's happening. Level 36. Uh. Level 36. Uh. <laughs> I yeah, let's go. Let's go. I heard this Pokémon is ridiculously strong. Um I heard it actually outperforms Charizard, so Woo. It's looking fancy. Is evolved into a Blaziken. A Blaziken is trying to learn Blaze Kick. Yes, you can learn Blaze Kick. We'll get rid of uh, Quick Strike for you. One, two, and poof. So maybe that's like a signature move for this Pokemon. Okay, so how many hit points does uh, Stuggles has? Oh, 54 hit points. We're good. We're good to get down to the Poke Center. It's still only it's still only one tick, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Um, there's no way. Ba, 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 ba. Let's. I'm excited to see the new ability on Blaziken and the new stats. I'm excited to see all of it. <laughs> Yo, I get so freaking excited for Pokemon Evolutions. You guys don't even know. Okay, let's see. Um, Beard. Let's go. Fire fight. Let's go. Okay, 97 attack, almost in that almost in that triple digit range. Pretty good. Overgrow ups grass moves in a pinch. Okay. Uh, learn Blaze Kick though. 85 freaking 85 damage. 85 damage. A fiery kick with a high critical hit ratio may also burn the foe. Dang. I'm happy. I'm happy. The overgrow ability is kind of. Eh. But at least it's not something lame, like, you know, Sandstream or something. Okay, so now I can now I can wander in this bush for for not worrying about having to encounter uh, a trainer battle, and we will level up our Stuggles here very, very quickly. Uh, okay, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so I will see you guys in a little bit. We'll catch up when we're about 30. Okay, so I finally finished... Um, I finally finished getting getting Stuggles up to level 30. Now, I do know that Stuggles evolves. I can't remember if it's an item that makes Stuggles evolve or not. Um, I did heard that Stuggles is... Or... <laughs> Stuggles. I did hear that Stowren has two evolutionary lines. So, like, if, if Stuggles is a female, evolves into a Glalie. And if Stuggles is a male, evolves into something else. I can't remember. Um... Still excited to see what happens, if it happens, when it happens, and uh, we're going to go. I don't think Cody evolves at 36. I don't think Cody hits at 36. I, I heard it was like 55 or something crazy. So, we're going to go into the uh, into the, into the the Safari Zone. So, let's uh, let's enjoy Safari Zone, guys, and uh, let's just take it easy and have a good time. That was a long time grinding. That was a really long time grinding. I have a lot to cut out of this episode. Uh, what up? Warden Slowpoke is running a promotion camping ring to try to get the furthest corner of the Safari Zone. If you can make it, you'll win a very convenient prize. Okay. Okay, nothing hanging out there. Nothing hanging out there. What do you the Warden Slowpoke? You know, he has that vacant look like a Slowpoke. He's very knowledgeable of Pokemon. He even has some fossils of rare extinct Pokemon. Ooh, I really want to pop our fossils. I think he's got a speech problem. Oh, that's right. Someone was telling me in order to complete the Safari Zone, we need to... What the hell? I thought that was the Safari Zone. Oh my god. The item ball there. Were you wanting that? Me too. Huh? It's just a Pokemon. It is. Oh my god. I haven't even explored like this part of town yet. What the heck? Cody cut that down. <clears throat> huh. I feel bad for all these Pokemon in cages, though. Um, hi, it's your first time here? Yes, it is. Four zones. Of now, somebody was telling me that there's actually... Each zone counts as an encounter. I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're just going to rock... Um, I think we're just going to rock one zone. And we're just going to go with the first zone. Do our encounter there. And, yes... Holy shit, 500 bucks? Man, what do you think, I'm made of money? Oh, I am. <laughs> um, I received 30 Safari Balls. Okay, wish me the best of luck. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, very triumphant music. Trainer tips, press start to check remaining time. Oh, we only have so many steps. Okay, fair enough. Catching Pokemon to take home as gifts. Is this all I did here? That was it? Okay, whatever. Okay, so in order to do two, we had to do two things here. One was, we have to like, um, oh, I see. I see what it's doing. Okay, we're in the center area. Anyways, first encounter, we're just gonna go. Area one. We have to find the warden's teeth though. Shoal salty. It's very salty. Okay, let's go this way. Also, we'll be keeping a lookout on the on the, the ground for items. Found a master ball! Yeah! <laughs> Sorry. I got a little excited there. Um that's that's freaking incredible. X defend, K okay, kind of a wiener item. Uh, cause I can now see on the ground where the items are, so I know. I'm bushed from the effort, yo. I'm only catching one. I caught a Chansey! Yo, that's actually super worthwhile. Tired from all the fun. We may have to come back again for a second, a second trip. Okay. Okay, here's our one encounter. What are we gonna get? Yo, a Scarberry? Hell yeah! That's a freaking sweet looking Pokemon, man. Okay, well, what are we gonna do? Okay, we, we throw a rock at it? Seriously? Holy shit. Okay, he's eating. Let's, let's hit him up. Let's try this. Apparently we can't hurt it, so... Okay. eating so we're just gonna try again we've got 30 attempts I mean even playing the odds we should be able to do this we should be able to do this I don't know what the heck how did, well, how's the minigame work okay maybe okay I'm gonna throw a rock at this thing I guess uh. Scarberry is angry What? Come on! Come on, baby! Okay, we got a pissed off Skarmory here. Oh no. I feel like it's just completely rando. Okay, what if I keep throwing rocks at it? Okay, we'll bait him again. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm afraid that the Pokemon will try and flee. Whatever, man. I, I got this. I got time. I got time! We got a freaking Skarmory, guys. Yeah, I give it a name. Yeah, I give it a name. What are we going to name it? I don't know. Let me check my comments. Okay, actually, I know who I'm going to name this um, Pokemon after. I get another another community member of ours, Beastie McBeast, asked me the other day, says, Oshi, have you named a Pokemon after me yet? Have not. Have now. Okay, Skarmory was that Pokemon. I wonder what other encounters we're going to get. Declines only when you walk, right? It only goes by steps. Okay, so now we need to find... We're not even halfway through. We're good. But we're good for now. Um, a Paralyzed Heal. Okay. Oh no! Okay, never mind. Yeah, I better not find like a really sweet, like a Jirachi or something. I'll be pissed. I'll be sad. Okay, this weird looking fur thing. I mean, I remember like trying to find like Genghis Khan's in here and stuff when I was a kid. We got Spark. Nice. Okay. 
Oh, don't do. Oh, yo, get out of here. Get out of here. Nobody wants that shit. Energy powder. Nobody wants that weird wiener Gen 1 loser Pokemon. Come on. Okay, what's this? The rest house? Oh, yeah. My Eevee, but a friend's Eevee would turn into a Vaporeon. I wonder why. I don't know. Which which rocks did you feed it? But you run out of time if you try for all of them at once. Go to the deepest part of the deal. You will win a prize. Thanks to Koga. Okay. This is some Naruto shit going on. Okay. What the hell is this thing? A giraffe rig. It's a weird Pokemon because it looks like it's got two halves. It's, it looks like a cat dog, you know? It's got a dog on one side and a cat on the other. Okay, what's down here? The secret house is still ahead. Okay, well, at least we're going the right way. Please find his lost golden teeth. That's what we're looking for. I found one gold teeth! <laughs> Not a set of them. Oh, no. Contains jump kick. Okay, what are we looking at? 20 steps? Oh my god, it counts my time in here. Ah, finally, the first person to reach the secret house, although I am a... I made a campaign for our grand opening. I was getting worried that no one would ever win our campaign prize. Congratulations! We won Surf! Oh, baby! Oh, baby, baby! <laughs> this TM is the disposable so you can use it. We're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. Yay, yes! And time's up. Bing bong. Yo, we got the Warden's Golden Teeths! Okay, now where's the warden? Ooh, we got a Pokemon here too. Let's let's check this out. What's up, kid? Hmm. Not in my randomizer though, unfortunately. Don't they have any pennants from one of the Safari Zone? How about some paper lanterns? Aren't there even any calendars? Yo, this guy's looking for all the promo goods. No, I didn't use X speed. I'm not giving away a Pokemon drugs, you weirdo. Okay, we can buy Ultra Balls. Sure, why not? Let's buy, you know, let's buy 15 of them, so. We're still catching Pokemon with regular Pokeballs, but that's okay. How are we for Super Potions? We should buy another six. Go up to 20. We should buy a bunch of full heals as well. Wait. Yeah, that's like, okay, yeah, we definitely want another 10 of those or so. And we'll still hover around that 35,000 mark, you know? We'll just stay fucking bling bling dollar bills, y'all. Uh, okay, so we need to find... We need to give this dude his lost teeth. I wonder if, like, because the warden wasn't in the safari house when we first went in. Uh, I don't know where Warden Slowpoke is. Where the heck is Warden Slowpoke? Hmm. Are you Warden Slowpoke, you old dude? Come here. No. Okay. Okay, well we have Surf. But now we need to give this dude his gold teeth. Where is he? Is he in the Safari Zone? He might be. I wish I have. I wish I was a Kangaskhan baby. I'd love to be a substitute for the baby. And snuggle in the bub, the belly pouch. Oh, want me to teach substitute to a Pokemon? What is this? What are you actually teaching us? Hail! Oh, that actually sounds great. What is it? Um, unless it's just a weather thing. Oh, it damages all Pokemon except for Ice type. I mean, that's. I don't know. No, that's not really interesting. It doesn't seem very powerful. Substitute seems so fun. It does. What the hell is this thing? What's oh, it? Oh. Huh. This game always knows when to kick you when you're down, doesn't it? Okay, so there's... I don't know where the warden is. 
Warden! Warden! <laughs> Where are you? Okay, so we actually have Surf now. That's I'm I'm very excited for that actually. Uh, let's uh, teach it to somebody. Unfortunately, one of the Pokemon has to learn it. So, oh, what was, what was the clink sound? Huh. Clink. Huh, weird. Okay. Um. Okay, let's teach Surf to somebody. Okay, we got Spark. Do you have any poison types? Yeah, I would like to teach Poison Sting to Mishar while we're here. Oh, and Mishar can actually learn it too, so that's good. Um, I was going to say, because you never actually know with the TMs what you're going to learn and what you're going to teach. Uh, who can actually learn what, so, like, Mishara might be our Surf Pokemon or something. Well, hopefully not. Well, that's okay. We can get rid of Vine Whip. We don't use it. That would be ideal, actually. Bye! Okay, we have two Sparks. Okay, let's go. Surf. Okay, Mike, Cody, and Snuggles. Okay, maybe we'll just give it to Snuggles for now. Cody already knows one, and I'm not switching up mics. Let's get rid of Powder Snow, I guess. Yeah. We're rid of Powdered Snow. Poof. <laughs> okay, Snuggles, let's go. Okay, maybe we'll go back in. Hi, it's your first time. No. I gotta find the warden. It's, we're gonna try and find the warden. If you throw bait, the Pokemon becomes less likely to flee, but harder to catch. If you throw rocks, Pokemon is more likely to flee, but easier to catch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I'm just trying to give your freaking warden his keys, or his teeth, but that's okay. That's fine. Whatever, man. Dear Warden, where are you? Yeah, I wanted to... Oh man, this is gonna get... Okay, we got a cool item. We got a full restore. Nice. Wish that was a little faster. Okay, what's uh, this way here? Safari Zone. Oh, another item. Got a red shard. Okay, so I heard those are like end game items for like learning moves and stuff from move tutors. Got a great ball. Yeah, nothing too crazy. We don't need encounters here. Oh, a Charmander. So cute. Okay, what the heck is in this house here? Running rocks makes them run, but they'll be easy to catch. We know that. Yeah, we know that as well. I didn't see any Pokemon I wanted. Okay. Um, what the hell do we do with... Where's the Warden, guys? This is so ridiculous. Here we go. Okay, um, a oh, Cascoon. I wonder, or a Silcoon. I wonder what a Silcoon, uh, I always want to say Cascoon from, uh, the application. Um, I always wonder what, like, the thing evolves into. I'm sure I've already seen it in battle or whatever, but, uh, just interesting to me, because I don't, I'm not so good with my Pokemon yet, you know? Okay, so back we go. Up we go, I guess. Okay, down we go, I guess. Like, I'm guessing the surf is to, like, really help minimax the amount of time you spend going through these areas. Here's that other weird giraffe rig. Kind of creepy. I think it's got, like, a head on its tail. For me, it's kind of creepy, because then you think, like, well... 
like, one's obviously the dominant side. Okay, so I think we've been through here, so... Um, I don't think we're gonna find the warden. Not inside the safari zone. So weird, man. Ooh, a caterpie! Ooh, a caterpie! That takes me back, man. That takes me back. Old school stuff. Okay, down we go. So now we can surf. We should be able to, um... Okay, do you say anything in here about the, the dude? The old dude? Nothing? Nothing, man. We got gold teeth and we got nothing to do with them. Okay, how are we doing on time? Ding dong. Okay, there we go. That was fast. Okay, so. I don't know. Yo, we got. Yo, we got two master balls, you guys. A set of false teeth lost, lost by the Safari Zone's warden. It makes his smile sparkle. Okay, well, I'm going to go search around town real quick and see if I can find this dude. Because I want to give him his teeth and get a cool reward. I just don't know where he is. Oh, okay, that's cool. We found the fishing guru. Um, oh, take this fish. Oh, he said take a fish. Coming or I can only catch Magikarp. Yes, but with a good ride, you can catch much better Pokemon. It doesn't really matter because it's always randomized. Um, so we could do a Fuchsia City encounter as well. Again, I'm kind of just saving off on my encounters for now. Um, in case, like, I feel like in case we really absolutely need them. Yo, this must be the Warden. That's the Warden right there. That's the Warden right there. That's the Warden right there. What up? I got your toots. Give the gold teeth to the warden. Popped in his teeth. Thanks, son. You're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word that I said. Not a one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office, even. Let me give you something for your trouble. Ooh, we got another HM. Is that strength? Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, who's going to get strength? Again, Cody, Mike, and Snow Run. Shit. I don't know. Maybe Mike will learn strength. It's 80 attack damage. It basically replaces Headbutt. It doesn't have the opportunity to flinch. Oh no, we're gonna get rid of Protect. I didn't like that ability actually. I love that sound. That okay, Mike. It's so fitting for Mike to have strength anyways. Yes. Kaboom. Found one safari. Oh. Great. Old Pokemon merchandise is on display now. Okay. So we got strength and surf. That's pretty great. So now, where are we on our map here? What, what's the what's the battle plan? I guess we're basically done here. There's still that gym in Saffron City that we haven't been to. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, where is our town map? Okay, so we are headed absolutely nowhere right now. Maybe let's just explore the rest of this road. And we'll call that episode there. Fight the girl guides. Want to play with my Pokemon? No. I want to crush them! <laughs> White Liver Crystal. Send out a Chinchu. Okay. That's cute. Let's go with, uh. Dang.
Okay, well, I guess we gotta get Stungles out of this fight. It's just too much. That's too much, man. Let's get Cody in. Cody's uh, probably close to 35 now. And I wanna see him hit 36. Probably won't be this episode, but I would love to see him hit 36 soon. It's not very effective? Well, no shit. You're spitting water. You're shooting a water gun at a dragon. Cody commands the freaking elements, you guys. But to use Electric? No, we'll just stay in. Go Dragon Rage, and then Slam, I guess. Should've just probably went with Slam, probably would've, yeah, probably would've wiped him right out. Okay, so instead we will... Oh yeah, Suction Cups made sure we didn't get blown out of battle. Great. It's, yeah, it's the same sound effect when they learn a TM, as of like, when, uh... Which is a Scyther. Okay, so Scyther is Bug. So we'll come in with uh, we'll come in with the beard and we'll go in with uh, Ember, I guess. Can't use Blaze Kick as cool as as cool as the ability is. Blaze Kick um, would get normalized. It's a really sweet looking Scyther though. Super effective, and it burned him. Okay, I guess, I guess he has wings. Fair enough. Again, we're strong enough, it's not killing us, so whatever. We're just gonna let it go. Oh, I guess he's a bug type Pokemon. We probably could've used Fly and avoided all that shit. But whatever, he's, it's, the game's over. Wow, 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 1100 experience. I was too impatient. You were something. You were a loser! <laughs> uh, what's our encounter here, Route 15? Hey, a Gardevoir! Yo, we're finding like all these really awesome Pokemon. Now, we missed our Gardevoir before because they teleported out. So let's start with Mishara and hit up a sleep. I'm not dying for a Gardevoir. This is a really cool... Oh, no, never mind. Rip Route 15. Ah, <laughs> uh, when I whistle like and summon burnt, you cannot. Don't lie to me. Juggler Pansy wants to send out a Deoxys. Oh my god. Okay, so Psychic is strong against our Snorunt. Apparently Psychic is strong against Ice. Um, where do I want to go in with this? I mean, Stuckles does have crunch, but I don't want to, you know. That's a that's a dice throw I don't want to make right now. I'll go, we'll just we'll just go in with uh, Cody. I was gonna go with Mike, but again, we we need to let. I just leveled that fucking thing up. Are you kidding me? Whatever! <laughs> God damn it! That was too fast! That's too fast! <sighs> I'm so pissed about that! <sighs> Alright, well, you know what? You know what? Just kill this fucking thing. Just fucking kill this thing right now. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. I'm supposed to use a Smoochum. Oh fuck, Smoochum has psychic attacks. Well. Oh yeah, here we go. Not even gonna fuck with it. Clamps, just come fucking. Clamps, just clean up the mess. Just clean up the mess, I'm done. Um, what I'm gonna end up doing, guys, is we're gonna end up replacing him with the the fish that I was saying, the water stone. I feel like that's actually a good play anyways, because he's he's two types, he's not just one. He's two like completely different types of what we have. And um 
Rock is strong against is uh, strong against flying, which we actually end up encountering a lot. So. No, just wipe him out, man. I don't give a fuck. You're not. You think you're strong against me? Come on, bring on your fucking gust, your your fucking wing attack, your fucking your fly bullshit. Come on, step to me. A masquerade. Don't recognize it. Can't remember it. That's probably why I can't remember. Probably shouldn't use Bughorn, because it's, it's going to be not very effective. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, rip snow runs. Good, good, good game. Good job. So, we're actually, I'm going to, we'll do that route later. We'll do that route later, okay? We'll, we'll do that later. Maybe we'll just call the episode here. Because I don't want to lose anything else. And I also have a shitload of work ahead of me now to fucking go and grind that level up on that fucking fish thing. So, damn! Damn! Uh, okay, where are you? Oh, we have the Skarmory. Skarmory is uh, still flying. He's holding onto a TM for us. But we already have lots of flying, so I feel like Skarmory is probably not going to go on team. Storm box Tanner. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get this Relicant into our party. Let's just check the summary on this dude though. Bashful in nature, TM twenty seven. So I want to take that item from him. Uh, cute charm infatuates on contact. Very cute. Super high defense. Super high defense. Peck, sand attack, swift, and agility. Okay, so... Can I... I can't take the item unless I take them in the party. Anyways, I'll do that all offline. Anyways, um, so let's check out... So our Relicamp... Oh, yes. Relicamp is now on our team, so that's our new team composition, guys. Um, we lost Snow Run, so that's super unfortunate. But we did our Safari Zone, got the Gold Teeth, got Surf, got Strength... Got some stuff, got some cool things, and uh, we got another Master Ball, so that's that's really awesome. I'm really hoping we can find some stuff um, that we can use it at. So, so we did a Route 16 encounter, did a Route 15 encounter. I'm still not sure about the Route 7, so I haven't even ventured into that area. We have city encounters that we haven't done, and basically our next progression point is going down through Route 19, um, where we... Let's catch that Pokemon. Let's let's end it off in a fucking bang here, okay? Um, oh, the Pokemon are all still still in a rough shape. Let's maybe let's maybe heal them up first before we do that. Meow. Uh oh, that's not the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go into the Pokemon Center. I thought I was in a different spot than actually I was. So. Okay, let's uh, let's just fish for them. Or is there? Is there natural encounters? No. Oh, yeah, we can surf for them. Why won't it let me surf? Do I have to actually use it? Oh, fucker! Snowrunt was our surf Pokemon! And our fish can't learn it. Our fish can't learn it. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Oh my god. Uh, Mike, what do you know? What can you lose? He uh, uh, can't really lose anything. Cody, what's up? What's up, man? Ah, uh, no, 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 no! God. Yes. Okay, Cody. I guess it's you, man. I guess it's you, buddy. Um, I mean, he's not using... Fuck. Fuck. 
Okay, I guess we get rid of Twister. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too, listen, I'm not too excited about it myself. I'm not too excited about myself. Cody, you're a legend. So if we look at... Are we not going to encounter anything? There we go. Okay, Water Encounter. Is a Clam Pearl? Shh, I'm not even hyped for that. Not even excited for it. Uh, let's get Clamps in. We, we'll still catch it. We'll still catch it, but... You know, whatever. Um, iron Defense. Oh my gosh. It's not going to help you. Bring a Mishara. You guys know the drill. False swipe. Clamps for false swipe. Mishara for sleep. And crush him with, with a Pokeball. Clamp. Mishara is clamped. Yo, the damage of the actual attack did like nothing. One damage. And <laughs> the damage from being clamped did way more. Okay, you're sleeping now. That's good. Uh, we'll go back and we'll pull up. Uh, where is our Pokeballs? Four Pokeballs left, let's go. There you go, baby. There you go. I gotta pull a name for this. Yes, yes, let me give a, let me get a name here. Uh, okay, we're gonna name this one here after a good buddy of mine, Griffin, who has been commenting in our section quite a bit. Griffin, congratulations, you are a clam pearl. Clamps is Oh, it was placed in box one, surprisingly. Okay, let's get off this beach for now, and then we'll save and I don't know if we're even gonna do we even need to go on Route 15? The only thing I could see there was like one item. And basically, so we have I don't know where to go next. I, I'm probably gonna hit you guys up in uh Okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, the, the town map. Anyways, yeah, so... It looks like we're going to hit Seafoam Islands, which is actually an optional encounter. We also didn't do... it. Does, I don't think we did the power plant, did we? Huh, weird. I wonder if we need to do the power plant. It looks like this is all just, like, optional encounter here at Route 12. Route 13, Route 14, so just more encounters. We have 14, 13, and I think we did 12 by fishing. Um, yeah, so we have Seafoam Islands and um, Pokemon Mansion at Cinnabar Islands. Huh. Okay, well, whatever it is, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. So I'm probably going to talk to a couple people in the Discord and uh, see where we go from there. But let's save up our game and uh, we'll do some adventuring next episode for sure, guys. Alright guys, just wanted to say hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely encourage and appreciate all the love you guys are giving to the, to the, to the series. It makes it so much easier for me to just want to record it. Like, I love the game, but I love that you guys are loving it as well. So, thank you guys for the continued support going forward. I really appreciate it. Um, also, I have a lot of other content coming out on the channel. We have uh, Mario Maker content coming out. We have Key Miller Presents coming out. And the Soul Link is back now. Um, my partner is computer, unfortunately. Well, the Soul Link just was updated, but my partner's computer is just not working very well. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to see how that goes going forward. Um, but I did just recently publish another episode to keep you guys posted on what we have done so far. Uh, with that being said, guys, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Uh, leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I appreciate that, guys. And, uh, and keep in touch with when we post new stuff. Take care, guys. Have a great day. Be well. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.